Hey, I'm Nate Lampton, and today I'm going to be talking about dust collection systems. So, in my workshop here, uh, I disassembled my dust collection system because I put in some paneling to protect uh, some electrical wiring, and now I have to put it all back together. And previously I had my dust collector hanging on a wall right here. Uh, but and and normally my miter saw goes right in front here but it is out of the garage at the moment uh but putting the dust collector on the wall there with the trash can below it for a secondary separator just took up a lot of room uh so i'm going to be moving it over here to the corner uh near the planer which produces the most uh, amount of chips anyway but i'm going to talk about the approach that i've used to building my dust collection system which is a little atypical because it is primarily made up of ABS plumbing. That is just standard uh, ABS uh, four inch drain pipe that you would normally use for sewage uh, systems. But ABS is super cheap uh, and it's widely accessible. Here on the west coast, uh, all of the drainage systems are made out of ABS uh, rather than PVC. It may depend on where you live PVC may be available in 4-inch quantities widely, but around here uh, it's just ABS, which is a different kind of plastic, but functionally for this purpose they'll, they'll serve the same uh, objective. So uh, here's some various dust collection parts, uh, and I use a mix of the flexible tubing, which is you know made for dust collection, blast gates uh, that are also made for dust collection, uh, and this kind of tubing, which is two and a half inches, which has some unique problems. But for the most part, um, the thing you need to know about mixing uh, dust collection system stuff and drain pipes is that although these are both considered to be four inches, so this is a, a four inch to two and a half inch adapter for dust collection, in the world of dust collection, they're always talking about the outer diameter when they talk about rigid piping like this. So this pipe here, you can see, is four inches on the outer diameter. But when you're talking about drain waste systems, they say a four inch pipe, but they're talking about the inner diameter. So a four inch drain pipe uh, and a, a, a four inch vent pipe, they're talking about two different things, inner and outer diameter. Uh, when you're talking about the flexible tubing, they're also talking about the inner diameter. That makes it so you can take a four inch uh, flex tube and attach it to the outside of a four inch dust collection pipe and they'll fit together nicely. But it means that if you're talking about connecting these two pieces together, um, they're both an inner diameter of four inches and so they just, they, they don't fit together. So when you have that kind of situation going on, you need some kind of uh, way to connect your four inch drain pipes to your four inch dust collection pipes. Um, I recently bought this uh, specialty piece from Rockler. Uh, it's definitely something that's uh, specialized for exactly this purpose that uh, it's saying schedule 40 PVC, uh, schedule 40 ABS or PVC, it doesn't matter, they're, they're the same width. And so this is a nice tension ring, it has a mechanical closure on it too. Um, to make that connection, and it's a very nice uh, piece. But I think that this this one piece costs like fourteen dollars for a simple simple adapter. But it does solve this basic problem of just needing to be able to connect four inch flex tubing to four inch ABS. Uh, if you don't want to do that though, because the the reason that I went with ABS in the first place is because it's highly available. There's any combination of parts that you can imagine available from uh, your local home improvement store, uh, that uh, the, the flexibility is really what I was after, not necessarily the lower price. So uh, if you want to work with uh, just parts that are available from your local store, what you can do is you can get uh, anything that has a three inch opening on the outside of it. And again, that's three inches um, that is intended to hook to a, a three inch inner diameter uh, ABS pipe, which means that this outer diameter here, 
looking at this, it's just under four inches, which makes it so that you can take this uh, three inch piece and hook it into this four inch dust collection tube and it fits perfectly. So anytime you need to connect four inch flexible ducting to ABS, you just need any piece that has a three inch opening with the uh, with the coupler on the outside and that that makes it so that it fits perfectly with these dust collection tubes This is a this particular piece is actually a toilet bend so uh, Four inch toilet is intended to be uh, up at the top connecting to a three inch drain, but it works great for uh, These kinds of 90 degree sweeps that you want to convert from uh, the overhead ducting that comes down to flexible tubing that then comes out the bottom I use this one for uh, I run rigid piping all the way down the wall, and then I have this sitting on the floor, and then this flexible tube uh, hooks in, and then ultimately it, it's the connection for the table saw. Uh, so what about gates? Uh, gates uh, are very important in a system like mine that I have a really pretty low power dust collector. It's about $200 uh, for this one horsepower wall mounted dust collector. This is from Shop Fox. Uh, there's an identical model that comes from Grizzly. I think they're the same thing, just with different paint jobs. <clears throat> but in this system where I have table saws and planers, I really can only run one machine at a time uh, with a, a, a system that small. Uh, my my overall garage is, um, it's about 40 feet deep, so it's a, it's a fairly small workspace uh, compared to some areas. Uh, and so it, it is sufficient, but only for one machine. So that means that you need to have uh, gates that open and close uh, at each machine to uh, limit the, the suction power to just that one location. Uh, and so... When connecting uh, these gates, again, uh, the four inches on this case is the, the outer diameter. And so that means that <clears throat> connecting a gate to ABS is really pretty simple. You just push it all along the outside of uh, the gate and it fits pretty snugly in there. Uh, in this case, I actually have a little bit of tape here because this, this connection was a little bit loose. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend duct tape like this, but any kind of uh, tape to just kind of make this connection a little bit tighter. So yeah, four inch gate uh, outer diameter fits really nicely on the inner diameter of any ABS pipe. Uh, and then on the other end, <clears throat> usually that's just where the flexible tubing connects on the other side. So that's pretty simple. Uh, it also works great. <clears throat> I'm upgrading, like I said, I can only have one gate at a time. so. I'm upgrading my gates uh, in this process to some automatic open-close ones. And so this is also exactly the same 4-inch uh, diameter on the outside, so it fits into the inner diameter of the ABS pipe. So I should be able to connect those uh, just as easily, one or the other. And I'll only put these automated ones on the three tools I use most frequently, the, uh, the planer, the table saw, and the miter saw and then other things like the band saw uh, and lathe drill press those things they'll just continue using uh, manual gates that'll open and close normally so uh, that's all the basics of how to use four inch piping uh, things get a little bit tricky when dealing with smaller um, dust collection systems like uh, uh, the dust collection system that you'd have on a miter saw or on a band saw. Uh, I built this little box here that is used uh, on my routing table. And this is the, the dust collection system that I have on it. These dust collection pipes are two and a half inches uh, on the inner diameter here or on a dust collection port like this on the outer diameter. So this fits in like this. Um, the tricky thing about mixing ABS and small flexible tubing is that two and a half inches 
is not a standard dimension for either PVC or for ABS. It's going to be really hard to find any two and a half inch piping uh, for, for like at your local hardware store. So this is a situation where you really do need some dust collection adapters. You can't um, just kind of fake it with uh, stuff from the hardware store as far as I've been able to tell. So this is a, a cheap adapter that just converts from uh, four inches to two and a half inches. And I, I, I just run four inch piping, rigid piping, all the way up until the point that I need the flexible tubing. And then I use one of these adapters to connect into the two and a half inch flexible pipe to the machine. So that's it. Um, I will probably post another video or add on to this once I have the whole new dust collection system up and running.